is your duty to yourself is written in the Quran. What is your duty towards your parent is duty in, is written in the Quran. What is your responsibility between you and the Prophet is in the Quran. What is the response between you and fellow mankind is in the Quran. Everything is written in the Quran. It is a sin for all Muslims who do not share the Quran with your friend who are not yet Muslim. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Brother Ustaz Muhammad Hussein E. He is a Malaysian national of Chinese descent. Born into a Buddhist family, he embraced Islam at the age of 18 in 1968. After studying about his new faith in Malaysia, he pursued further studies at the Islamic University of Medina in Saudi Arabia, majoring in Hadith. Today, Ustaz Husseini is a well-known personality in Islamic work and goes out on regular religious missions in the Asia-Pacific region. He also conducts summer camps in the United Kingdom and Europe at the invitation of local and international organizations. I request uh, Brother Husseini to deliver his speech. إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا من يحد الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا تقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به وأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم وما يتع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الحديث حد محمد صلى الله عليه وعليه وصحبه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار أو كما قال Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. All praise due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the creator of all things and the sender of all prophets and the revealer of all truth. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his bounties that only with his wish and his permission we are able to get together this afternoon. We ask Allah for forgiveness for all our sin, our minor, major sin, the hidden and the open sins. Because being human, nobody is perfect. The Prophet ﷺ said, Kulubani Adam qatta'un wa khair qatta'in tawwabun. Every children of Adam, after they reach the age of maturity, they all commit sin, whether it's minor or major. And the best among those who commit sin in the sight of Allah is those who always prepare to repent and return to Allah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the forgiver, we ask Him for guidance. And the best guidance from Allah is the Holy Quran. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Not as the only Prophet, but he is the last messenger of Allah to mankind. He is not the only prophet because in the Holy Quran, Allah reminds us, Amana Rasulu bima unzila ilayhim rabbihi wal mu'minun kullun amana billahi wa malaikatihi wa kutubihi wa rusulihi ilal akhira ayah. As believers, as Muslim, it's our duty to believe in Allah's messengers. Not only Prophet Muhammad, all Allah's Prophet from the first Prophet Adam alayhi salam until the last messenger of Allah is Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 
Now we know there are so many prophets been sent by Allah. From Adam to Muhammad, you have 120,000 of prophets been sent. There are only 313 who are messenger of Allah. Because not all prophets are messengers. And all messengers are automatically prophets of Allah. There's a difference. Now every prophet that Allah has appointed are not a messenger, but every messenger Allah gives them a guidance. Special guidance, books. Now we believe as Muslim, based on this topic that we're going to discuss with you this afternoon, it's about Quran, the final revelation. Why we say, why do we claim that Quran is the final? We didn't claim it. But we believe in what Allah said. Because the Prophet said, فَإِنَّ أَصْدَقَ الْحَدِيثِ كِتَابُ اللَّهِ As believers, we believe that the final word of Allah, the word of Allah is the best and is the truth, the whole truth, but nothing but the truth. There is the word of Allah, not the word of anybody except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now this word of Allah, before I share with you about Quran as the final revelation, I want everybody to know who is this Allah. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, like what I just said earlier, is the creator, the all-knower, the all-powerful, the all-seer. Now He created everybody of, He created the jinn, He created the ins, He created the angels. Everything that you see, even haram thing He created. Thing that is forbidden for you to eat is part of Allah's creation. And Allah said, وَمَا خَلَقْتَ هَذَا بَاطِلًا He never created anything without a purpose. Everything that Allah created, there's a reason, there's a purpose. Only human may not know what is the purpose behind all this creation. Even as small as a fly or a mosquito. There is a reason that Allah created them. No, when Allah created us, He knew what is best for us. He know what is best for us. But He didn't appear to us in the form of a human because He cannot be like us. If anybody claim that God can, of course He's all powerful, but He don't have to come down to that stage. Because if He come in the form of anything, it will become worse. It's more difficult for people to understand that He is God if He can transform Himself to be like us. But He is all powerful. He can do anything he like. But in the same time, he do not want to do something that makes us difficult to understand. Now he sent messenger and prophet as his representative, as his ambassador. Because he want human to convey his message to human. He don't send angel to us. He sent a human to convey the message of Allah to human. Now, the Qur'an is not a new book. مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ مِنَ التَّوْرَةِ وَالْإِنْجِيلِ Here's a book that comes to confirm what has been revealed before. Because Allah has revealed many books before Qur'an. The one that is public known by all believers, the Muslims especially, we believe in the Torah. That Allah has revealed the Prophet Moses. And then He revealed palms or we call it Zabur to Prophet Dawood alayhi salam David and he revealed Injil to Isa Jesus peace of Allah be upon him and he revealed the Quran to confirm all you have the Old Testament you have the New Testament but Quran is the final and the last testament because there is no holy divine book is going to reveal after the Quran is a seal. Prophet Muhammad is the seal of all prophets. Quran is the final revelation of Allah. Now it is very important for us to understand why we believe Quran is the final because Allah said so. Because only in the Quran you will come across a verse Allah said, Al Yoma Akmal Tulakum Dinakum. You don't get this.